On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, this is a very impromptu holiday recap video. I am Dan. Thank you for joining in today. Squirrels, gather around. This is Presentor, or Packaginator, or Super Present. Uh, my friend, longtime friend, um, is here to help us out. And inside, we've got some of the gifts I was given this year, and some of the stories that we have, have to tell. <laughs> very odd. So yeah, just kind of like a light holiday after video. I think it's the 27th today of December, and I thought I'd share some of the things that were given to me, and uh, let's let's just start. Let's just grab into Presentor, uh, Packaginator. It's a little grumpy. Um, somewhere in here is my first gift. Oh yes, my first gift. I got a cold. You may hear it from my voice. It's a little deeper than normal. Um, I can sing hi. I can sing low. And I think I can go even lower in the early mornings. They should make a mini brands for these. But yeah, I got a cold. I always seem to get a cold on the 27th of December. Anyhow, so this is Pactor, Packaginator. We use it to give out presents during our Christmas parties. And uh, today he's helping out. Really a good longtime friend. Okay, so what else is in the box? Okay, we've got an X-Men Wolverine VHS packaged action figure. Cool, I have been totally re-watching 90s uh, X-Men lately, and I think... Ah, there he is, there's Wolverine. Uh, there's the Wolverine action figure. Look at that, these are so cool. Hasbro Pulse has them. And it's just absolutely a stunning figure, fully articulated, fully looks like what you would expect from the 90s X-Men cartoon show. Really cool. Trying to get into these this year. Okay, back to our, come on, come on. Ah, oh, there's Cyclops, also a favorite. And if you notice, they are packaged in VHS style boxes. Very nice, uh, reusable, sustainable packaging now, mostly from Hasbro. So they're cool, they're VHS style. I don't know if you know what a VHS is. Back in the 90s when you watched movies and shows, they were placed on these plastic tapes with reels inside. You would stick them into a machine and it would go ka -chunk -chunk, and then you would watch your show. And then if you didn't rewind it, you would make someone mad the next time they wanted to watch it because then they had to rewind it to watch it. But funny that they uh, did these boxes inspired by the 90s. There's Cyclops. And a storm, also a storm. So I'm trying to collect all of the main X-Men from that time of show. And I may do a full review on all these figures. They're all so, so beautifully detailed. And I'm slowly, slowly getting into the six inch scale. I used to prefer the three and three quarter, but I don't know, I think I'm jumping over to six inch scale finally. And I think there might be one more in here. Ah, Mr. Sinister. I don't know Mr. Sinister as well as typically like Magneto and Sabretooth and Mystique, but I wanted to get a few of the uh, bad guy characters too, and they're just slowly releasing, like I think Cyclops was probably the most recent. Um, the Twisted Geneticist, Mr. Sinister, seeks to create the perfect mutant life form. His chosen test subjects, Jean Grey and Cyclops. So, pretty cool, pretty creepy. This guy's maybe a little bit over over 90s done. I think it's either the the red triangle, the black widow triangle thing, or maybe it's the the cape I like. I like his cape. What do you think about his cape? But it's maybe the sharp teeth. There's something they could have like pulled back on if they were to do it in modern modern times. Okay, what other things? Uh, my parents got me this great blue Eddie Bauer jacket. I love fleece jackets. So warm. And it's uh, over uh, oversized tall, I, I should say large tall, which is awesome because usually when I get just large, it's short and then it like pulls up and then you're like, it's even colder. So this is extra long on the sleeves. It's perfect. It's so cool. I love the color. So that was an awesome gift. Always good to get like clothing for Christmas too, besides toys. So, okay, Packaginator, what else do you got for me? <laughs> oh, a DuckTales canteen. Woohoo. Uh, this was gifted to me by my sister. Very nice. I could put water or probably Mountain Dew inside. Oh, it even says woohoo on it. Perfect size, not too big, not too small. I gotta get a. I'm, I actually have another canteen gifted by my kiddos, but we have to switch it for a straw 
or something like that because it's so big it's like a soup canteen it's really cool but I want I would like a straw for the office but great great to get water canteens ah Catstronauts have you ever read Catstronauts by Drew Brockington Drew Brockington these even though I'm a squirrel person I love Catstronauts it's like all about space kitties and it's science themed and it's great. It's really funny too. Waffles, I think, is my favorite character. So check this book out. Goodness. Uh, the Lego Story by Jens Anderson. This is really interesting. I really don't know much backstory to Lego, surprisingly. I mean, I know we've built at least 9,000 pieces worth of sets doing the Titanic this year and probably double that to 10 or probably a hundred thousand worth of build pieces and I don't know much about the story of Lego so this book is a great little how a little toy sparked the world's imagination it even has pictures um, so it's full of pictures and backstory to how Lego was created the story and I really should know a little more so if you're looking for that check that out uh, at your local bookseller library oh it's a Thor, a Marvel Thor puzzle. I have been reading a ton of Thor, Marvel Essentials Thor, Volume 1. The first issues from the Mysteries of the Unknown or whatever it was, um, and then Thor. It, it is so fun. Um, and this is a perfect puzzle. My family noticed that I had been reading a lot of Thor, so they found a Thor puzzle uh, with all the little characters in there. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see like Loki, and you can see Asgard, and just all the characters. Uh, great stuff. This will be a fun. I always like to do a puzzle in January because that's kind of like wind down month to so just kind of kind of go. Oh, what just happened? This is a big one. Come on, Pactor. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Transformers Dinobot Sludge. Love these Dinobots from the Transformers movie series. I think I've got Grimlock and Slag. You probably saw them in the train video when the train drove around. They're in the kitchen. So trying to get uh, all the Dinobots here. They're slowly releasing them. I imagine they have two more to go or one more to go. Is there four or five? Why am, why am I spacing on that right now? The great Brontosaurus or probably now categorized as a Potosaurus sludge. And these have been so fun. The scale of these are huge compared to the formers of trans. And they are just, they li the likeliness is awesome. They are fun. The only thing missing on this one is that the other two had little bots. Like they had Daniel on Slag and I think I see um, Wheelie on Grimlock across my room. I wish they could have found another like micro character to place on this guy. They say he smashed uh, the Mockery of Justice. Remember when he smashed the halls and I think a flattened um, a shark decon on a foot would have been really funny or a door or something but you know it's perfect as is. I haven't got to opening it yet but it's, it's still pretty cool. This one's also really big. Come on, Pachinator. Come on. Come on. There we go. It is a squirrel on a mini bike, moped bike, uh, sidecar with a turtle squirrel freaking out. This was gifted by my parents. It's from a like a gardening store. It's perfect to place in the garden and or we place a lot of these figurines in corners of our house. So it, it is so highly detailed and funny. It pretty much looks like Landry up there just, ah! just going for a ride. He's really enjoying it. The eye work, the eye detail is pretty good on that. I don't know if that's going to focus. I'm really trying to use my new camera this year. The new camera I bought two years ago. I'm having a lot of trouble with it today. I've already done this video once and had to redo it. We're fingers crossed that this one works, but really want to get into new tech. That's one of my goals this year, is try to get new tech going more often. My previous camera I've been using for like seven years. I love it. It's easy to use, but it's starting to show wear and tear. So I think that's most of the presents that I received. There were a few others, a few other X-Men and, and a few other awesome things, but we had a great time, a lot of fun gifting this year. So other fun things that happened around the holidays. Um, oh, there we go. We've had lots of guests over and we are playing the Crazy Planets game. What do you think about that? And so this game has little squares of planets. And what you do, there's nine squares and you line up the planets. So there's Jupiter on this corner. Get Jupiter lined up. 
And then you keep going and you get Saturn lined up. <coughs> and then you take a Hall's breather because you got sick on the 27th of Christmas and your voice is shot. So the joke of this uh, game is that if you are stumped, send a dollar for the solution. Uh, the name of the game self-addressed a stamped snail mail envelope to Price Stern Sloan Incorporated, uh, mail order department 390 Murray Hill Parkway, East Rutherford, New Jersey, uh, 07073. So if you live in East Rutherford, New Jersey, help me out. It looks like it's a YMCA on Google Earth. Uh, we had a big long family joke story that my nephew would travel with the, with the dollar all the way to this address, finding a YMCA, uh, falling in love with the receptionist at the YMCA, uh, and then they would go on an adventure to find who uh, the solution to this game. I think it's Oscar worthy. We're gonna start working on the script. Maybe we'll do a GoFundMe for like uh, movie gear and how to make this movie and we'll be in the Oscars in 2026 will probably be the year we'll run through that movie. But anyway, pretty funny, pretty fun game. 1997 and that's why it's snail mail before e email and things really kicked in apparently. Well, there was email in 97, but pretty funny, pretty funny fam family game night. But yeah, we had good times over the weekend, lots of crazy parties. I even got one of those one-up arcades with the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was so much fun to teach a new generation how to uh, use a joystick and punch and kick and punch and kick and uh, never stop putting quarters in or, well, it was unlimited play. You just kept hitting extra guys, but that was so much fun. A game from my your uh, found on those one-up arcades and just lots of good food, lots of fun, lots of family. So good holiday season. Um, that brings us to Advent. Um, we did nine Advent openings this past month. That was pretty fun and crazy. Uh, the one I didn't get to was Lego Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, the reason I kind of held on Lego was it seems like everyone does a Lego Advent and I just just couldn't get to this one. This was the one I would have done if it was Lego. Um, by now, I think everyone's seen it and knows about these. Uh, this one had Groot uh, in a Christmas tree, kind of like what was happening in the in the holiday special. And Rocket's there, flame blur, flame throwing, flame broiling. That's what I wanted to say. Flame broiling this turkey uh, mantis there. The the cassette. It would have been fun. There's a Thanos armor there, um, but I kind of felt like everyone's seen it. Lego's the one really why these advent calendars have taken off the last few years, but I kind of was more interested in the other brand, branded advents. Uh, which then leads us to the conclusion, the conclusion of the Candy Cane Invasion, which is on this last page, um, and it's, it's, um, Hasn't, hasn't been written yet. <laughs> Oops. Uh, the plan with the candy cane invasion, the conclusion. So this video is up today, uh, Tuesday, uh, either Thursday or Friday this week before the end of the year. We will conclude the full candy cane invasion comic will be produced and shown in one video. So you can watch all the episodes together and we'll hopefully conclude the calamity of that invasion. Fun to do. I may, I may do more comics in 20... 20 squee 2020 squee is coming um, that'll be fun so yeah technology and comics are my new year's resolution but so thankful for you guys to join us in today for uh pactor here an old family friend this is actually packaginator uh, 2.0 likes to eat these uh, planet tiles uh, we use this uh, friendly fellow to give out gifts at our holiday parties uh, he likes to uh scare the kids a little bit and he's just such a funny guy here's some more um, more planet squares but anyway thank you guys so much for joining in today much appreciated if you please give us a squamant a a squike or a squirrel live and join in on the fun candy cane invasion is upcoming next so please check that out merry christmas everyone and happy new year